What's up, Ocean? You got Matt here, coach of your Montreal Mylotti, bringing you our Week 9 battle for the NCP. Today we are facing off against the San and Eggies and their coach, Sir George. Uh, they are currently 0-8, so in theory, this should be a pretty good game for us. Um, I'm hoping that we can get a good win with some nice diff, but they do have a very scary team with a lot of really strong setup options, so... Fingers crossed that we can actually get this done and not provide them with our first one of the season. Um, as much as I would love for them to have a win, I don't want it to happen against me. So, looking at this team, um, very scary, but looking at our team, we have made some transactions. We have made some changes. This is the old team that we have here, and this is our new team. So, basically what had happened was we had dropped, um, I believe it was Swine. We dropped Roselia, we dropped the Blade, and we dropped Snorlax for Runarigus, Lantern, Vileplume, and Ditto. So this really helps us out with a lot of the tougher teams in the league, uh, the teams with um, higher higher records than we do, or that we might be facing off against in the playoffs. So just having these options here is really helpful, and hopefully we can uh, find our way to a championship because having these four new mons really helps out a lot with very specific things that again are very solid with other things. Uh, obviously we lose out on Toxic Spikes with Roselia, but we gained them with uh, Runarigus. We lose out on a Ghost type uh, with the uh, Blade and a Steel type. We're not going to get back a Steel type, but we get a Ghost type with Runarigus, a Ground type there. Ditto is just a, an amazing revenge killer, so I'm hoping that our team can really, um, really put in the work. It doesn't get much faster. It doesn't get faster at all, actually. It just becomes a bit more, uh, I guess, unique. I've used it in a while, so I'm hoping that we can get it done, but with these new 10 mons here, I'm hoping that we can get a championship for the Montreal Milotic in the NCP. So, first mod that we are bringing this week, we are going to be bringing our Vicavolt here. Vicavolt is going to be the MVP this week, I have no doubt about it, it's absolutely incredible. At plus 2, we have speed for Modest Ribombi or a Ribombi Creeping Rapidash. Uh, we take a plus 1 Modest Moonblast from Ribombi, and we take 1 Advent Stone Edge from a non-boosted Gyarados, and the Roost is there just to set up on things like Ferrothorn, Type Null, Avalug, Phalanx, and Rotom. That's half their team, so hopefully we can get that done. Our next Mon is going to be our... Clefable. Clefable is very strong in this matchup. Again, we are unaware one more time because they have so much setup. Um, because we are unaware, a store power won't be doing very much to us from a Shell Smashed Poltergeist. If it is Shell Smash, uh, we still take two of them no matter what. It'll boost its um, damage output, but it won't count as if it's being plus two in a special attack. It'll count as it's being neutral, but just a more powerful move. So that's what that is for. Uh, we also take two Jolly Expert Belt Poison Jabs from Phalanx, two Jolly Life or Waterfalls from Gyarados, two Timid Non-Boosted Fire Blasts from Charizard, and two Leaf Storms from Timid Rotom after Rocks. And, <clears throat> excuse me, all of this is after Leftovers, and the best part about this is, like, nothing on our opponent's team just Okos us straight out, which is incredible. So, they have to basically get a crit, and, yeah, because they can't set up because we're unaware. So, there's that. Two is there to uh, aid in Vicavolt sweeping and to shut down some mons that um, we ideally wouldn't be able to just T-Volt or Moonblast. And Moonblast and Thunderbolt hit my opponent's team for absolutely incredible damage. If Moonblast doesn't hit them for great damage, Thunderbolt does. So that's what we have there. The biggest threat to this thing would be the Type Null if it's running Toxic. Uh, the Ferris Seed as well is a pretty big threat because it has... I'm not carrying the um, fire move, but if it, if it brings Pharisee, then we have other options around. It's a pretty free setup option for our Vicavolt, especially because we should be Okoing things. So if they get off a Leaf Seed in front of us, fine. We can Bug Buzz, get our plus one agility up, and we should be good to go. So there's that. Our next Mon is going to end up being our Como here. Como is really good in this matchup again. Um, my opponent has two Dragon Resists, or I believe three of them. Two or three, one of the, yeah, two or three. But uh, regardless, all his dragon resists are weak to flamethrower, so that's important. Taunt shuts down a lot of sweeping options. Uh, it shuts down Dragon Dance from Gyarados and Sub from Gyarados. It shuts down Sword, uh, Shell Smash, excuse me, from the Poltergeist. It shuts down um, Ferris Seed's uh, hazards, so that's important as well. Without honestly, without hazards with the taunt up, Ferris Seed can't touch Como, which is amazing because I can get a free rocks, I can flamethrower it, I can do whatever. So I'm cool with that. Um, I believe we are a bulletproof set. We should be bulletproof because that prevents us from getting hit by Shadow Ball and by getting hit from, uh, what is it called? What is the name of that thing? Um, Gyro Ball, that's it. So both of those aren't going to be affecting us. And because of that, we are able to completely shut down a Poltegeist as long as it does not have the um, Psychic. If it has Store Power instead of Psychic, then we should be fine against it. And if it has Psychic over Store Power, then Cluck can handle it. So we kind of have the best of both worlds there, which is great. And we have speed for the Gyarados and... Uh, yeah, so this is a really strong mod. I'm hoping that it can do some work for us, more defensive. And it was the MVP last week. Hopefully, it can re rebound and do the same thing this week. 
our next mon is going to be likely our lead here. We're running Rapid Rapidash again. Rapidash is really good this matchup because it hits everything for insanely hard damage. I was debating being expert belt on this set, but Life Orb gave me the bit of extra damage that I really needed to just get the guaranteed Okos on things. If my opponent brings just a no bulk no bulk um, Gyarados and we're at minus one, Life Orb Wild Charge will still guarantee get the KO on it. So that's important to note. We have speed for Charizard on this spread. We have um, again, like I said, the Life Orb with the E belt for certain for those reasons. Play Rough hits my opponent's team for a lot of damage if they resist the three other moves. Flame Blitz is there for things like the Avalug, the um, the Type Null takes more damage from Flare Blitz than it does from Low Kick, so that's important to note. Uh, Low Kick was basically just there as, honestly, just a backup in case I really didn't want to take recoil damage, so there's that, but honestly, this coverage is incredible, and it probably will be my lead this game. Our, na our next uh, mod is going to be our Crawdont here. Crawdont has black glasses to boost up our power of our knockoff. Uh, obviously, Liquidation and Aqua Jet would like to have that boost, but we don't really need it. Looking at our spread, all we need... Oops, that should not be... I believe it should be... <laughs> Wow, what I have two pluses. I believe it should be Adamant because we have speed on the spread to outspeed Rotom Mo while we're at plus one. I didn't want to go faster than that because Charizard is the next fastest Mon. That's going to require quite a bit more investment, probably for us to go to Jolly. And we have Aqua Jet for that thing anyway. So at plus one, we're going to nuke that thing unless it has like a Pasho Berry. So we got to keep an eye out for that. Um, yeah, but I, I, the reason I went with Black Glass over Life Orb is because we really need to have our HP up in this game just to make sure we can take hits. Uh, the Pharaoh Seed does have Iron Barbs, which is a thing, and we don't want to be being, we don't want to get weared down by Life Orb, Toxic, Iron Barbs, whatever the case may be. Just want to make sure we're careful there. Uh, this is also a really solid mod. If I can get a Dragon Dance, I can really break my opponent's team and really allow it for Vickabolt to come in and sweep the game a lot easier. And our final mon is going to be our Ditto here. Ditto is making its appearance, its first appearance for us with a Choice Scarf, of course. This really helps us out in case Clef goes down to some sweepers, and it helps us specifically with Dragon Dance Gyarados, Shell Smash, Poltergeist, and Quiver Dance for Bombi. Uh, I really didn't know what else I wanted to bring. I, I couldn't figure out the sixth mon, but the first five are amazing. Ditto is a really good insurance policy, so hopefully this can do some work for us. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the battle. All right, we are back. Um, so no Charizard. They end up bringing Ribombi, Phalanx, Gyarados, Unpheasant, Rotom Mo, and Poltegeist. Um, looking at this, I definitely want to lead off with my Rapidash here. Um, I think it's a very solid lead. Yes, I don't have my Hazard removal. Um, so if he wants to lead off with the Rubombi and get up his webs, that's definitely a possibility, but this is what I'm going to go with. Also, I think I accidentally said uh, George. I think his name is actually Jorge, so my apologies. Uh, we had a really tough time setting up this this game. Like, we were waiting for about an hour, just, like, trying different servers, trying different combinations to make it work, and it finally did, so thank God, um, because I do not want to play games on Showdown, um, especially for Wi-Fi leagues. It's, it's just... I love getting that, that real feeling for it. It makes me really think about my plays a lot more because Showdown, you can just press cancel and you can't really do that on Wi-Fi. But regardless, we are here. The Unpheasant is a little bit of an interesting bring to me, but uh, it's here. Um, I, one thing I did notice while we were talking because we were talking to set it up, um, he has three flying types, Unpheasant, Gyarados, and Charizard, which is nuts. But regardless, let's do this. So um, basically, I expected this five of these six mons. Uh, the only one I did not expect was the Unpheasant. I expected Charizard or Type Null over it, but I am not that mad about it. So um, it does get, I believe, Hurricane is a move it gets. Let's double check. Uh, we're probably gonna have a long black screen have like, it's gonna take some time. Uh, but yeah, it does get Hurricane. So there's that. But yeah, best of luck to our opponent. Let's have a good game. Loken Guard is the Phalanx and I have Play Rough. So I might want to go for that. Uh, we were talking, and Phalanx does not get a ground move. So if I go Phalanx, add level 50, and I go to my Rapid Dash, Flare Blitz does more than Play Rough does, but Play Rough still does a huge chunk of damage, 80 to 95, and Close Combat does not KO me. Uh, it has a chance to KO me if they're after Life Orb Recoil. So there's that, but I think Play Rough here is going to be my play. Um, really weaken this thing, so let's go ahead and do that. Play Rough it up. Um, I wonder what he's going to do. He doesn't have any fairy resist on his roster right now. He has one fire resist, and that's the Gyarados. So there's that. I don't know what he wants to do, because this is honestly not... Whoops, I just smacked my desk, but... Uh, not all the lead that I expected, but we do a huge chunk of damage to my opponent. And what is he going to do? Is he going to go for close combat here? He rock slides instead, and rock slides should do a good chunk of damage to us. Uh, enough to KO us, actually. Wow. Uh, so I gotta check that rock slide. Um, yeah, rock slide does slightly more than close combat does. Uh, regardless, we lose our Rapidash here. Uh, what do I want to go into, though? I want to go into something that outspeeds this thing. A Jolly, which is 139. Do I have anything that's faster than 139 right now? Uh, my Como should outspeed and get the KO on it, so I think I'm going to go into Como here. 
where is it? There is Como. Or do I want to just can I just set up with Vicable here? I honestly think I can. Uh, it does have Rock Slide. How much does Rock Slide do to me? If it is Expert Belt. Uh, Vicavolt, Rock Slide will do 59 to 71. Uh, and if it's Choice Band, how much time do I have left? Oops. Oh my god, I'm having a hard time here. Just gotta make sure I'm not running out of time. Choice. Oh my god, I cannot figure this out. Choice Band. And if he is adamant, I have 10 seconds. He has 96 max. I'm gonna go Como here. Uh, I can't risk it. If he flinches us, that's game as well. So there's that. Um, I would love to go for my rocks here. So I think that's actually what I'm going to go ahead and do. Or do I want to just KO this thing right out? Uh, let's go for rocks. It's really helpful for the Unpheasant, the Gyarados, the Ribombi especially, as he stays in. Let's see what he wants to do against us. As he Zen headbutts. Okay. And, oh, it looks like he's Life Orb. This thing has Sheer Force? I did not know that. Okay. Why is Expert Belt the Calc then? It, did I just miss a Life... Did I just miss a... Um, Oh yeah, I must have missed Life Orb, wow. Okay. Uh, but we do have rocks up now. Um, I'll just go for a Flamethrower here. I think that's my safest play. As we get the KO, so that's another kill for Como on the season. But uh, this Phalanx has definitely done work. It got rid of my, my Rapidash. It weakened my Como to about half. Um, I don't know if I value that 50% more than I value the rocks. But we'll see. But down goes the Phalanx. If Poltegeist comes in, my play is to click um, Taunt here, no matter what. But I imagine it's going to be the Ribombi, if anything. But we'll see, we'll see. Mikasa, is that Ribombi? It is Ribombi. Is he Boots? He is Boots, okay. Uh, I need to keep this thing around. I'm going to go into my Clefable here. We are unaware. But we don't have very much special defense. We're mostly physically defensive. And let's see, what is he going to go for? He fires off a Moonblast. We know his boots are ready. Jesus, that's good damage. That's nuts. Um, okay, I can go for a Thunder Wave here. Let's see, Rubombi at level 50. Um, it has a 4% chance to 3 hit KO after leftovers, if it's timid. Uh, it could be modest, but I did not calc for modest. Um, what I think I'm going to do is just go for the... What would, he, what would come in, if, if anything? I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave here. I think that's my safest play. We can paralyze this thing um, as he switches out anyways. And he goes into Shrimp, which is probably the Gyarados here, as it is. So Gyarados is going to take damage from rocks, unless it's also boots. He gets an Intimidate off, fine. And he has boots on this as well. Unless I, did I just not get up rocks? Did I like completely forget what I'm thinking of? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's um, let's take a look at the, the settings of the game right now. Uh, no, it's not Pokemon, it's info. Uh, let's click on this. We have rocks up, yeah, okay. Um, okay, so looking at the Gyarados, what, and I'm, I know it's, I know it's boots again. So, Let's see, Gyarados does, Bounce does 40% to us at most, Thunderbolt can, oh, if it was rocks it would KO for sure, but it is not. Um, I think my play here is going to be the Thunderbolt, so we're going to go for, we're going to go, we're going to do that and go from there. As he doubles out, and what is he going to go into? He goes into Sir Nom Nom, is that the, that's the Rotom, okay, interesting. Uh, this is not Boots, so we know that. Um... Let's see if we reveal an item here, if he reveals leftovers or something. Because he could definitely be Scarf with Trick. There's no... Okay. He definitely could be Scarf with Trick. Do I feel like I need this thing to be... Because the Gyarados is paralyzed. If I just go for Moonblast, I should be fine here if he tricks me. So I'm going to Moonblast. If he tricks me, 
that's fine. I have a Scarf, um, Clefable. Moonblast is still a 95 base power move, I believe. Uh, we still have pretty solid special attack. He goes for Shadow Ball, which should do very little to me, right? 158, down to 99, which is not too much. Moonblast will come out. I believe that's 59 points of damage, and we have a special attack drop as well. Um, so let's just check Rotom Mo. Um, we want to see Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball, um, that is Specs, I think. So, I think he's going to switch out, if anything. Um, and I can fire off a really powerful attack here. Huh. Okay, I think he Specs. I'm going to... Oh no, he probably isn't Specs. I, I forgot, this calc doesn't have a high... Um, what is it called? He has no EVs. Okay. Um, he could be like Modest Specs. Modest uh, Scarf, I think. It could be Modest Scarf, I believe. Yeah. Let's um, let's Moonlight here. He's at minus one. He shouldn't KO us with Leaf Storm. So I think that's more important, getting the recovery back. As he goes for another Shadow Ball. We are at... He is at minus one, but I forgot because there is... Um, unaware for us, it doesn't matter. It'll still do the same amount. Yeah, so does the same amount. Okay, um, again, I don't see a downside to clicking Moonblast here. But I definitely think he's like he could be modest scar. That's a, I think that's a possibility. Or was it? Because fifty two is the most it can do if he's modest scarf with shadow ball. We are one hundred percent out of range of leaf storm. As he switches out, what does he go into? He goes into Mrs. Potts, which I'm cool with. Because this also walls. Like we also wall this, and we're not going to proc weak armor because it's moonblast is a special move. Or non-contact move, excuse me. And we do a really solid chunk there. Um, again, we do pretty much wall this thing. So I'm going to go for the Moonblast. So Poltygeist with a Shadow Ball will do at most 41 points of health to us. As he goes for Giga Drain instead, which will do 25% max. Which I'm cool with. I don't know if he predicted me to go into my my crawdon here, but it's pretty for me to, for me to just keep clicking, keep clicking Moonblast here, uh, and then eventually come in on like the Gyarados and recover up because he's probably gonna go for a Shadow Ball here. So I will Moonblast again. We're doing good here. We're doing good. Um, my turn one was kind of unfortunate. My turn two was also kind of unfortunate. But getting rocks up was so valuable for us um, that I will definitely take it. And we find out that the Ribombi and the Gyarados are both um, boots. So that's that's nice. That's good information. We are at minus two on our attack because that matters so much for us. And we can move blast again. And wow, that's insane. That was a crit. No wonder. Um... Let's take a look at Gyarados again. Gyarados, if it has max speed and jolly nature, it's at 146, which means we will outspeed no matter what. So I can go for a Thunderbolt here. If he goes into Rotom, he goes into Rotom. That's fine. As we outspeed in Thunderbolt and we get the KO. So that's kill number one for Clefable as we get rid of that Gyarados. Um, interesting that he bought two heavy duty boots mons, but we were talking before the game, uh, his team is really, really weak to rocks, so he's got to be careful with that. But regardless, the Rotom is chipped down, the Poltergeist is chipped down, as long as we keep our Clefable healthy, we should be able to beat the Ribombi because we have Thunder Wave. And yeah, but in comes Mikasa, the Ribombi, um, and I'm just going to go for a Thunder Wave here. I think that's my safest bet, because I don't want this thing to be setting up all over me. And if it does, I still want to be able to have a chance against it. And if I can, let's say he does get to plus three or something, and I manage to chip it down enough before I die, 
I can then go into Ditto, which is Scarf, and should be able to clean up the game because this thing does have Moonblast, we know that from it attacking me, and Moonblast should just demolish the rest of his team. So, does that, but he switches out, what does he go into? He goes into Sir Nom Nom, so I don't know why he's making these switches here. Um, interesting. Regardless, Thunder Wave comes out, doesn't affect Sir Nom Nom. And I'm going to go for the Moonblast here. The reason I'm going to go for the Moonblast and not the, um, what is that thing I'm looking for, the name of that move, uh, Moonlight, is because if he does go for the Leaf Storm, it is going to do around 60% to me. Um, that's my anticipation. And yeah, it's going to do about 60% to me, but at the same time, we should be able to deal with it. Uh, if he tricks us, that's where the problem comes in, as he does go for Trick here. So there's that. We do, I believe, get it to Specs. Right, we got the specs, and this should st we should still do a huge chunk of damage to everything my opponent has. So down goes Sir Nomnom. So that's the second kill for Clefable. Um, the Ribombi is still a threat. It's still definitely a threat, but we are choice specs now. Choice specs, and if I go to Ribombi, Ribombi will. Oh my God, that does seventy-five to eighty-nine. That's amazing. So I don't think it can even set up on me. Because yeah, we do, at minimum, this is against a no investment in attack, in special, wow, special defense or HP. We do one or two, sorry, not, not no investment, it's got four investments, so one or two minimum. And then if he gets to plus one, he goes into Mikasa here. Uh, keep in mind, we do have the Aqua Jet. And oh my God, I think because we're unaware, we still, we still do 75 to 89. Um, I'm just Moonblasting here. I believe we can probably just win the game with our Clefable here. Moonblast does, from Timid one, does 32 to 38. That's 78 points of health max. Wow, this is amazing. Clefable putting in the work, unaware Clef. Clefable is so, so strong. It's really strong against very specific teams and really weak against certain other teams. But regardless, Moonblast comes out. Let's see how much it's going to do to us. We are at 170. And we... Is that a crit? No, it's not a crit. Wow. That did a lot more damage than I anticipated. Uh, he's probably modest. So we get that damage off. And um, I want to keep this thing around. I really do. But at this point, I don't think it's wise for me. Um, I can just go into Crawlant and Crawlant can click Aqua Jet. And Aqua Jet will probably claim enough lives to win the game for me. So Moonblast comes out. He'll get the KO here. As he does not. Wow. Oh, Clefable coming in clutch, surviving, nuts. So down goes Rubambi, it's three kills for Clef, and it's not even a Calm Mind set, it's not a Store Power set, it's not a Cosmic Power set, it's just Clefable putting in absolute work against my opponent's team right now. Wow. Uh, he's definitely modest though, and that has to be a roll, so... <sighs> it did, it did, if he was modest, it did 85 points of health maximum to me. But yeah, not unpheasant. Uh, I don't think there's any reason for me to save this thing. I would like to, just to preserve differential, but I don't think there's really much need for it. Besides, if you go for, like, agility or something, or, I don't know, focus energy, because this thing does get super luck. But yeah, this game should be pretty much locked up for us. I can probably go into my Vicavolt, click agility, and then go for a game from there. As he goes for U-turn, which will get the KO. That's fine. Uh, I wonder how much on Pheasant, it might be Scarf, uh, how much it does to a Crawdance with Brave Bird. 88% of Jolly, Adamant does not KO either. So I can just go for uh, Aqua Jets with my Crawdant. Yeah. So he goes into Mrs. Potts here as Clefable finally goes down. Where is Clef? There she is. Um, and... Crawdont is going to be my play here, I believe. Um, yeah, because I don't know if he does has a psychic move yet. So yeah, Crawdont is my play. I have the Aqua Jet. Kind of wish I was Life Orb now, but it is what it is. So yeah, if he is, if he's like Bandit or something, we we lose our we we'll lose our Crawdont here. But there's no reason for me to click Aqua Jet for me not to click Aqua Jet twice, three times here essentially. So Aqua Jet comes out. And that's a KO for Crawdont. 
I better have been a kill for Kron. I was moving so slow. So down goes the Poltegeist. Where are you, Poltegeist? There you are. And last but not least is the Unpheasant. This one will be at 50% when it comes in. And even then, um, we probably only need to click it once because if it goes for Brave Bird, then we should live it. And he'll drop to recoil. So I'll go for the Aqua Jet here. So it's funny because the MVP of this game for me, I thought it was going to be the Vikavolt. It ended up being Clefable by far, but Stealth Rock on Como was absolutely huge. I knew I needed rocks of this game. I really wanted to make a fair way to get it done, but uh, Como being the rocker ended up coming at clutch for us. I thought we were going to scare off the Phalanx, to be honest, and send them into the Rubombi, but it is what it is. And Aqua Jet comes out. We do a large chunk of damage to him as he Brave Birds us. Uh, he should die to his own recoil here. 25 to 29% unless he's banded or he crits us. Crits us. So we lose a point of diff, which sucks. Um, but I'm not going to complain too much. So down goes the Unpheasant. And down goes the Crawdont. Right. So we get a 3-0 win. Uh, I'm really disappointed that... No, I'm not really disappointed, but I'm disappointed that it wasn't a 4-0 because we definitely played that to make it a 4-0. But we do advance to six wins and three losses. That guarantees us that we're going to finish with at least a 500 record. Um, GG's, I'm telling my opponents. Um, yeah, so right here, he, so he... Okay, so so the trick that he went for, he's saying that he thought uh, it would have locked me into T-Wave uh, because I'd gone for T-Wave the last turn against the... the the I think it was the Ribombi. He swapped, he swapped into the Rotom, and I went for Thunder Wave, and he thought that was going to stick around. So the way that works is because I'd already clicked Moonblast... Uh, it wouldn't have locked me in. It would lock me into Moonblast. So uh, I'm really happy about that. But regardless, we end up kicking butt with uh, with Clip Able. We kick butt with our team, Vikavolt, and Ditto. Don't see the light of day. I really want to lead off with or go into my Vikavolt right there. But um, he ended up being Life Orb, and that is kind of scary um, against our Vikavolt. So it's a good thing I didn't. We would have lived the hit for sure. But end of the day, I don't think it's worth it for us to, to worry about that too much. We played really well. 3 0 win. Should have been a 4 0, but the damn critical hit at the end. So, uh, yeah, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on the video. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know which of the four new members is going to be your favorite for this season. Again, that's Vileplume, Runarigus, Lantern, and Ditto. For me, so far, Ditto has been a favorite of mine for a long time. Lantern I've used before in the past as well. But I'm excited to give Vileplume and Runarigus a try as well. Anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.